Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3 Blind. In the last episode, we uh, we talked to Wes, he told us to go find Duster in this Club Tidibu that we heard about. Because he's he was apparently been cited as a bassist. I, okay, I just want to say this right now, I really like the, the design of this character right here. Have you ever heard of DCMC? Is that the band that was in the in Earthbound? No, that was a. No, that was someone else. No, I haven't. They're the greatest band to ever play at Club Titty Boo. Actually, I don't really know who they are. I was just pretending. I think isn't isn't DCMC on one of Lucas's uh, alt color shirts in Smash Four? I think it is, if I recall. So we want to go Club Titty Boo. I'm guessing to find Duster. Oh yeah, we wanted to like go to the shop and make sure there's not any armor that we can that we can buy there because that would help a lot actually what about you now I'm always hoping for that day that we buy a happy box I'm sure you are all right so what did you have oh he has a dialogue for it you're so lucky I have to stay here and watch the dumb store okay uh, kids shirt kids hat uh, these are both better than what we have right now in fact, you know what? Can we unequip our... Oh wait, no, we don't even have a head thing. I'm guessing the kid's shirt would be a body equip, so we can go ahead and sell that. And just to make sure, I'll buy the kid's shirt and make sure it's equipable to the body. It is, okay, so we can just go ahead and sell that thing. The, the mini mini charm we could sell the thunder bomb which actually I didn't I probably should have grabbed another um, let's see if we sell 25 that gives us up to 30 beef jerky 43 okay here peculiar cheese thunder bomb then buy the kid's hat. Oh wait, we can buy one for each of us. Okay, then we should... What else was there? There wasn't really any I the, any uh, weapons, so the rest are items. I think we can do without them because there's plenty of healing items in the overworld here. Uh, let's find that, that car frog so we can actually take out some DP. Yes. Transfer DP. Oh yeah, we have plenty. Actually, I'll go ahead and take it all. I'm assuming you lose half of it when you die. That's probably why it's the withdrawal system, just like Earthbound. Okay, bye. Kids... Wait, no. The kid's hat is equipable for... for Boney, right? Wait, whoa, why don't I have any DP? Did I actually... Did I not withdraw it or something? Yo, give me the DP, my dude. Yeah, withdraw all that. Okay, it did the cha-ching sound. I should have the DP. I guess I pressed B or something. On accident. There's a train. Buy the kid's hat for Boney. And he does... Did, uh, did he not have that infinite box of uh, antidotes before? Guess he probably didn't. I mean, yeah, I guess we could buy one of that. One of that. One of that. Just, just in case. We'll give it to Boney because he's probably the weaker of Lucas and uh, Boney, so... Oh, and we need to equip. That's right. Uh, you get the kid's hat. You also get the kid's hat. That's weird that you could equip a hat to him, but that works just as well. Alright, so now maybe we talk to the train dude and the train will magically appear. The train goes directly to the factory from the station is cur currently out. The conductor's out on the town, so I don't think the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, then I suggest walking along the train. Okay, so we can do that now then. I'll take his word. No. Someone's gonna stop us getting. 
We know he's not as enthusiastic this time. Thanks for waiting. I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try to stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. Yo, what a guy! Way to be lit. Railway map, bro. You're nice. You know what the most frightening things inside the tunnel are? Nope, they're not slither hens or mushrooms or anything like that. Answer is... trains. Trains are the most dangerous things of all in there. So be very careful not to get hit by any. I'm assuming that's probably an instant kill. So uh, we're gonna avoid that. I bet they'll be coming by every once in a while. Mushroom? Rambling Mushroom, okay. Isn't that from the first, isn't that from, well not the first game, is that, in f that's from Earthbound I think. Interesting. We'll kick his butt. Like, once again, it doesn't matter. We don't even have to check what they're weak against. Because... We don't have anything other than normal attacks. Yo, Boney with the smashes! Okay, does like... I feel like there's different sounds you make whenever you hit enemies with different... with different songs. Okay, he's dead. Rambling Mushroom, not too big of a deal. He's absent-minded most of the time. There's an edible mushroom. Oh, wow, we're literally gonna eat its dead, dead corpse now. I want to add, like, how cool it is that the, uh... The music... The music? The music actually sounds like train tracks. Like a train going over a train track. L like, listen to the beat. Like, that's really cool. Slitherhens, we've fought you before. You know what, if anything, the edible mushrooms are nice. So we'll take you down again. Do da da do down. Yeah, that's definitely different from last time. Maybe there's just a couple of random ones it can choose from. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there he goes. That was different. Because, like, one time it was like... Da, 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 da. And that time it was like... I don't know. That's weird. Just watch out for trains. I'm not, I'm not going to walk on the train tracks. Okay. Just being careful. I bet there's one time they're going to send a train right at you. Right when you walk out of one of the doors. Mushrooms and stuff, nothing too important other than that. Yo! Is, oh, two of them. Squawking Stick and its cohort. Squawk, squawking Stick? Did they... Did they combine a bird and a, and a straw? Okay. Whatever. We'll do it. This is gonna be fun music to combo to. Oh! Oh, missed up. We're gonna have to be careful in this fight. Oh wow, that didn't work. I can't do the fast ones. At least they're not attacking much. Okay, there goes the squawking stick. That's the one that can spawn more enemies. Six. Yeah, the rambling mushroom is weak. Like, really weak. Okay, takes care of that. Whoops. <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm just mashing right now. There it goes. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. We do need to heal Boney. And he leveled up, okay. Boney's leveling up a lot faster than Lucas. So hopefully that'll get him caught up. Not equip. Um... I guess we could just go ahead and give him beef jerky. Well, we should use the tiny healing items. Didn't we have more than one edible mushroom? Guess not. Give him that, and... Oh, the bread roll is actually worth 60. Holy moly, I didn't realize. Boney should be good with, like, what, 47? That's fine. Bro! The jukes! 
More mushrooms, walking sticks. Yeah, we're good. Alright, maybe I should have bought some more healing items or something. Slither hen and its cohort. These are super easy. And then I missed the thing. I think what Boney's thing is going to be that it he is that he does more damage. Like he's a very strong character. That's usually what beasts are, or in this case, a dog is, in RPGs. Is they just like they don't have magic, they don't have anything special, but they just hit real hard. A lot of the time they t take up like two party slots in some games, like uh. What is it? Suikoden 2? Suikoden, the Suikoden series all is all like that. Woof! There's a butterfly! Look at that! And... Something. Oh, that's... That was bony! I didn't know what that was! What's this? Girlish clothes are relying on the ground. Oh no, we're about to get... A little weird! We don't have PSI. Is this gonna do anything to us? Made everyone in Lucas's party relax. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that didn't do anything to us. I, I mean, I guess we still have a PP stat, so... It potentially did something. That girl's right about all the magic butterflies, though. Hot spring. There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. It's a magic seat. Okay. Oh, this is scary. We have to. Maybe we can just stay in the corner. Nah, we gotta. Hey there. Oh, Bony, don't get that close. Ay, you got me stark naked. Oh, okay. Oh, aren't you that boy I met at Aeol Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember, you said you were going to the Drag Drago Plateau to avenge your mother. Huh? That wasn't you? Really? How odd. I'm Ion Ionia, one of the mad gypsies. Okay. This is a magic butterfly colony. I often come here to get here to be revitalized after I've worn myself out out by overusing my PSI. Oh, I guess they know PSI. Are you here because you overused your PSI too? No. Oh, you've never heard of PSI? That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from Ugh. Ugh. No, you're close. Wait. Just endure it for a little- Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? No. Yeesh? What do you mean, yeesh? Uh... Okay. Also, I noticed that this is a slowed-down version of the dance song from, uh... From Ozo Castle. Something awoke inside Lucas. Oh boy, we got PSI, but that was a, a method, that's for sure. Healing Alpha. Power welled up from deep within his heart. You got the power of PK Love A, I was right. Lucas learned how to use PSI. Okay, cool, sweet, nice, rad. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You can now use PK Love, not even Mad Gypsies are able to use it. You slide to- oh, don't. Don't. I don't know where you come from or where you're going. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Lucas. But we might meet again. So at least tell me your name. Lucas. Thanks, I'll remember that. Please don't remember anything about me. I want to boil up too. Okay, you have fun. You have fun with that. Okay, so I suppose what we can do now... Sleep? Is that... That wasn't always there, was it? Okay, whatever. So now we can use PSI. Oh no, PSI wasn't always there, jeez. Uh... Cures a, cures a status element. Restores about 60 HP. Only you Lucas can use. Deals major damage to enemy. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and heal everyone. In that case, and then grab ourselves a magic butterfly. Now, I wonder if it completely heals my MP. Or if it's just, like, by what I, I think it was 80 points in the original game. Not that it matters when we have this low of a PP value. Oh, another one. Of course. Of course. 
Yeah, all right. That's not a butterfly. I'm a magic butter frog. I'm not very proud of my name. Do you need something? Sure. Sure, why don't you go ahead and save our game, why don't ya? Lordy lord. Okay. I guess it must be my name, huh? A little bit. Let's get going. So now we can use PSI to absolutely destroy anything we see. So let's try it out. We can always just walk right on back to heal if we need to. How about you get one of these and Boney can just do whatever. Alright, so how much is this going to do? Oh, that's rad. Well, okay. I was expecting like 80, maybe? But lord. That's a lot. I mean, it does cost 10, to be fair. Alrighty. So we'll keep an eye on that. We won't waste our PP too much. I'll probably use it mostly for healing. That's a mushroom. Let's do it. A mushroom suddenly- that seemed big in the overworld. I think it might be a little dangerous. Dude, Boney's the better dog. Dodge quickly. Dude, not bad. Oh, I- I changed it right as I did it. Boney is obviously the superior dog here, and I just didn't pay attention for Lucas's. Dang, he's kind of strong. I think it changes there to like da da da. I keep not paying attention to Lucas's. Oh no, Boney could die. Okay. He did. Wait, did he just attack himself? Okay. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. What do I have the rest down here? I'm still looking out for any trains that could appear. That mushroom is fast. Okay, it looks like didn't any nothing appeared. Don't write graffiti on signs like hot dog or dog food. I bet it's on the back. Oh man, I wanted to, I I was so sure. Okay, well let's go ahead and give a bread roll to Boney. Heal him a bit. So he doesn't get knocked out. Okay. Took him out. Not a problem. Okay, we have another bird here. Sparrow advice. Have you ever noticed that you can send weak enemies flying if you dash into them? Feels pretty good, huh? Pretty addicting, huh? Those don't count as real fights, so they won't net you any so-called experience points. Huh? You already knew that? Or are you just pretending to know? You're not pretending, are you? Well, in any case, time to end this with the sparrow-like chirp chirp. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like when you would immediately knock out an enemy. An Earthbound. I was like so sure that a train was going to come across that while walking across that bridge. Another Sprinting Bomb. That's good. We could probably use some of those against bosses. I was just waiting for them to come after me. So these Cyborg Moles? Reconstructed Moles and his cohort. Are they the third strongest? I have to wonder. Okay, let's knock him out. Okay, that worked. Nice. They're kind of strong. They already knocked out Boney. Okay. Yeah, I know. And uh, Lucas is probably going to go down soon after if I don't do something crazy. Okay, he was about to die right there. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Eat it. Lucas will just get a ton of experience for this. Yeah. Didn't even knock him out. Are you kidding? I'm at that low? I have to run- there- It's gonna attack first! There's nothing I can do! Okay, hopefully we get it off soon enough. Yeah, I know it took moral damage. Oh my god, come on. Really? You're gonna play me like that? That's... Ugh. I wonder if healing has, like, if it counts the animation in it. So if you heal with an item, you would potentially be able to heal much faster. 
Did I come back with full HP, I wonder? I, I forgot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, that was fun. Jeez, I didn't expect those to be that strong. I mean, I can easily just run straight through here without, like, fighting many things. The Slither Hen doesn't actively come after us. There is a mushroom at the bottom here. We outspeed it easily. That thing's not gonna touch us. That thing's not gonna touch us. We're gonna get right back outside. Who cares? And we're gonna fight things. Oh yay, Bony leveled up. Good, because we really need it apparently. Those two almost knocked us out. That's ridiculous. Ugh. How much does healing or er, life up? Only five? That's that's free healing right there. Okay. So these reconstructed moles. Just because I want to get all that yummy, yummy experience. And we're only fighting one, of course. I wanted to fight, like, two of them at a time so I could just destroy them with a PK love. Oh, I keep messing up. Oh my god. Boom. It was that easy. It was that easy. What? Okay. I guess it was just significantly harder because we were fighting two of them. Okay, well, I'm going to end it off there. In the next episode, we're going to go down the rest of the train tracks. Actually, it looks like we're almost... Holy moly. We came really far. Looks like we're almost there. Yeah, there's not much farther to go. So in the next episode, uh, we'll get to our destination, wherever that may be. See you all then, and goodbye.